Hi, this is Paul Cruz for MBN News, News Video Web. We're here reporting for Joyce Chow high atop Rodeo Drive in Beverly Hills at the Lux Hotel celebrating the 2011 Emmys, yeah. right? And we're here with none other than Brittany Curran from Men of a Certain Age. Yeah. And we always interview you. You're a good pal of ours. Last time I interviewed you, I think you had... You were getting teeth whitening, maybe. I don't know. There was tons, tons <laughs> of stuff in your mouth. I was getting my teeth lots whitening. Lots of lights. Yeah, actually, I'm probably overdue for another teeth whitening because I had a big blue light. I need to get one as well. We should go. They'll give it to us for free. They will. Yeah. That's what's wonderful go about this this crazy town of ours. Yeah, yeah, you get yeah. everything for free. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been busy. You've been you know doing all kinds of stuff what can yeah. you catch us up to date with what's going on with you yeah i was working on men of a certain age and actually speaking of the emmys andre brower from our show um is nominated for an yes. emmy which yeah. i'm very excited about yeah that was that that was an amazing show thank you yeah and andre was brilliant yeah. on it so yeah. i'm very happy for him to be nominated unfortunately yeah. i can't vote for him though because it's a conflict of interest so that's oh, like the one category really? yeah i'm not allowed to vote in because i'm on the same show as him I didn't know that they had that. Oh, on. yeah. Yeah. If, you, if you're on a show or if you have some kind of connection to it, you're not allowed to vote in that category. Oh, I've tried. Really? I tried last year and, wow, and I failed yet again crazy. this year. But can't you vote for yourself? <laughs> well, that's, um, I don't know. In the preliminary round, you can, but that's the round okay. that the public doesn't see. Okay. And so in the preliminary round, which yeah. I was in for right. Best Supporting Actress this year, um, I voted for myself. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> see? But once it gets, let's be honest here, but once it gets past that to the actual nominations, I don't know because I all I know is I wasn't they allowed to vote in, in Andre's category. Yeah. Oh, I see. Yeah. See, you guys are getting the inside the scoop. The inside scoop. On how how it works oh yeah i watched 12 hours of television there was one day last week that i watched 12 hours straight throughout the day because you once you're on a panel for voting for the emmys you have to watch every minute of footage for every show so that it, right. you're making a fair judgment so you're sitting there with all the screeners i'm sitting there that. which is awesome but then yeah. i'm all of a sudden i'm going out of my mind because all i've done is watch yeah. boardwalk empire and game of thrones which are two yeah. of my favorite shows <laughs> all day <laughs> well that's very nice of you because i know a lot of people who are emmy winners that don't do that <laughs> well i mean i know like if, if i was nominated i would want somebody yeah. to watch all the episodes that they sent because that's yeah. the only fair way to really get but, an, a, an idea yeah i agree but a lot of people are just so super busy sometimes they don't have time so they're like i'm just gonna vote for so and so yeah exactly it was really hard especially because i started up college right around the same time that right. i was supposed to be voting and so it was really hard i'd have to like get up early to actually watch everything wow see that see how honest it is <laughs> america yes america <laughs> So what's up next for you? I mean, what what do you want to go? You want to go into movies now? Or? Yeah, yeah. I um, I have. I just got two new agents, which is nice. They've been sending me a lot of scripts, so oh, I've just nice. been just been figuring out my next move when it comes to. There's a couple television shows um, that I've just been like meeting with directors and producers for, and possible movies. Nothing definite yet. So I'm going to college right now and nice. enriching my mind while I'm waiting <laughs> for the next thing. And learning how to play violin yes i have my <laughs> first lesson in 10 years on monday morning nice <laughs> yeah i'm pretty excited about that you're gonna be packing the concert halls pretty soon yes i'm gonna be playing <laughs> my beautiful mozart and beethoven for yeah. all the have you have you got a chance to take any vacation time Ah, uh, yeah actually the cool thing is oh yeah a fun thing that i just did recently i went to boston twice this summer which is where i'm from oh. and the second visit was uh well both visits were amazing and the second visit i went to the Boston Children's Hospital and did a screening of my movie Legally Blondes with the with the um, the hospital patients and then I went up to the the hospital beds and I visited with the patients and spent time with them and that was an incredible experience and and then I ran the film with Road Race in Cape Cod on the Boston Children's Hospital team and so me and my Boston Children's Hospital team together we raised like like eighty thousand dollars over wow, the summer for the children's amazing. hospital yeah and so i got to run that race which was an incredible experience yeah. i when, when they talk about runners high that's definitely what i had when i was running all wow, seven miles amazing. yeah and so it was an incredible experience well, the whole trip. you america's little sweetheart <laughs> overstatement <laughs> but thank you no 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 <laughs> you're a really amazing person and we already knew that me and joy but um well, both so both what, of you guys. what can are you, are you attending the emmys this year are you going i i would like to i don't know i don't know because I you wasn't actually nominated. I'm gonna go support yeah, you gotta Andre. Go support your team, right? I know. Yeah, for sure. That would be fun. And where can people catch up with you? You have stuff on DVD or? Yeah, I, I mean, they can always watch you know my my movies like The Haunting Hour and Legally Blondes and Now Men of a Certain Age on DVD. Uh, but I'm also on Twitter and right. Facebook, and my Twitter is verified, so you'll know it's actually me. 
Facebook is not verified, so you'll have to oh. guess. <laughs> That's always scary. Huh? It is a little scary. There's so many people that are pretending there's some like somebody famous it's on it's creepy and flattering it's all weird. in the same breath <laughs> <laughs> well it's always awesome catching up with you i know joyce was really excited to see you as well yeah i was so excited to see you and guys you got too some cool watches i saw got a nice watch i got some, some shoes, shoes and all kinds some of goodies soda <laughs> yeah and we'll probably see you at some orga suites later this week right you probably will i'm supposed to go to two more <laughs> more free things nice <laughs> All cool good perks, right? Yes, it's the best part of being an actor. I'm kidding, <laughs> no, but it is a nice perk. <laughs> All right, well, this is Paul Cruz and Brittany Curran signing off for Joyce Chow at the 2011 Gift Suites. Emmy Gift Suites. Right? Yep. See you at the Emmys. Oh